Yeah, the biggest, the biggest issues that we're faced with right now is the economy, uh, without a doubt. We're, right now we're in a great recession. Uh, unemployment continues to rise. Uh, we have a persistent poverty problem. And I think the remedy for all this is uh, jobs. Get more jobs here, gobs and gobs of jobs. And we can get jobs in here by having state run programs, get grant money in here to build our roads, make sure our teachers are getting paid. So, uh, and we need, to, we need to encourage jobs to come in here. There's several ways you can encourage jobs to come in here. Uh, one, encourage industry to come in, get big industry, that way they can provide jobs. Two, grants. I would have a team of grant writers where they would just constantly, just nonstop write for grants. Obama's got a stimulus fund out there for internet for everybody. There's no reason why everybody shouldn't enjoy internet. Everybody in the 61st district would get internet if I was elected. They should have it anyways. I'll push for it. We'll see if we can get it in Warsaw. I'm working on a plan right now. Yeah, so uh, Mr. Adams, he's, he's an oil man. He's got his own oil company. So the Iraq war has definitely helped him out. He's on the board of some bank, Grant County Deposit Bank. So he's a banker. So we got an oil man, we got a banker, and they all do what King Cole says, so we got a shill for King Cole. Sounds like a corporate guy, sounds like a big businessman. Not to mention he's a career politician. 18 years? 18 years is the exact reason why we need term limits. Even 10 would be too long. The president's only allowed to do eight. The main point that I want to make is that I am working class. I know what it feels like to be out here, uh, working paycheck to paycheck, working for minimum wage. I know what it feels like. I am working class. And when I go uh, to Frankfurt, that would be the same sentiment that I take with me. Working families, the entire, all the working families in the 61st district would go with me to Frankfurt. Because I know, I understand what you're going through. I understand what I'm going through. It's hard out here. It's rough. And there's no reason to make it any more difficult. We need to make it easier on each other. Whatever this thing, whatever this experiment, this God's experiment, Whatever this, why we're here. While we're here, let's treat each other better. We're in the community together. Sink or swim, no. It's all for one, one for all. Freedom for everybody or freedom for nobody. The government should be completely transparent. I want to know what my representatives are up to, what business that they are, uh, what, what their agenda is, what their business, you know, what type of motions they pass, what type of laws that they pass. So the county budget and the city budget minutes, budget and their minutes, they should all be posted online. So that way we can see where the money is going and we can also see what is being discussed at our city council meetings. And everybody would be able to see it online. So with the internet, uh, free internet for everybody, the, I got a plan. That isn't my only revenue generating plan, not just internet. I think we should legalize marijuana. I also think we should uh, bring in a sports team call it the Kentucky Rebels. I got a couple plans. I'm not 100% against taxes. I don't mind paying my fair share as long as I see my money going towards good government, towards the government that's helping the public out, that's providing services, and that's responsive, and is listening to their constituents. One out of four kids in Kentucky are poor. This should not be. One out of four kids I mean, out of every four kids you see, one of them is poor in Kentucky. Well, that's, that's an abomination. That's not right. That is ridiculous. We need to stop that. We need to make sure that everybody has equal opportunity to move up the socioeconomic scale. And poor people do not have the same chances as rich people. We need to make sure that they have equal amounts of chances. It should not matter which womb you come out of in order to succeed in America. Warsaw and Owington has 20% poverty rate, so that's one out of five. It's a lot of poor people. And even if you're not poor yourself, it tends to be working people don't care about the poor until they become poor themselves. And with this great recession, more and more working folks are becoming poor. So they're starting to realize that it's even more difficult than what you all have it now. Because I am working class, I understand the struggle. I understand that you're working from paycheck to paycheck. And I understand that even though you're working from paycheck to paycheck, that yeah, you know, because you're working paycheck to paycheck, you're not able to pay all your bills or you're short on this bill or that bill or you have to put off one bill in order to pay for the other. If you elect me 
the 61st district would become more prosperous. I'd bring in more grant monies. I'd bring in the internet. I'd fight for working families, their rights. And I would also fight for their economies. I'd make sure that there's plenty of opportunities for everybody to get wealthy. I believe in health care. Right now, Kentucky is number one when it comes to uh, the amount of cancer deaths that we have. We're number one in cancer. And the one thing that could cure cancer isn't being legalized. It would also cure some of these economy problems that we're having. And at the very least, you can compromise on hemp. You can smoke an entire acre of hemp and it wouldn't get you high, but it would create lots of jobs. And Philip Morris isn't buying tobacco anymore. So somebody needs to be creating jobs. So there's another revenue generating plan. Hemp. Let's raise some hemp. I'm Johnny Masters and I'm running for the state representative in the 61st district. And I'd appreciate your vote. The content for this production was not paid for by anybody. It was absolutely free.